Well, we've uh, we've reached agreement on uh, a draft budget, which will now go out for consultation, and there will be a, an opportunity for everybody within society to respond to that. These are difficult decisions. No, nobody's under any illusions about the challenges that we face. And I have made the case, and I think Peter Robinson and I are on the same page, that since 2009, uh, the present British government have, in a very ruthless fashion, uh, cut our budget to the tune of well over uh, a billion pounds. Uh, and of course that has been an incremental decrease over the course of the last uh, four years. Uh, and that is obviously a, a very difficult situation for any uh, administration to deal with. But, but that's the reality. Uh, the cuts that we are facing uh, are cuts that have been directly imposed by a David Cameron-led administration uh, at Westminster. And it's obvious to everybody, uh, in contrast to what is happening in the United States with the Obama administration, which believes in stimulus and getting people back to work, uh, we're dealing with a government that believes in austerity. And th their austerity measures are uh, obviously impacting on our administration. And we have to deal with that. Not to have agreed uh, a budget today uh, ran the, the real risk of uh, this administration collapsing. And anybody that doesn't realise that, I think, needs to give themselves a shake. And of course, the dangers attendant to that prospect happening, I think, are apparent to everybody. So, this is about uh, taking responsible decisions. It is about taking tough decisions. And it is about, in the context of taking those tough decisions, trying to protect frontline services. And in the course of uh, the work that has gone on over the course of the recent while, we have sought to protect uh, the health service, uh, the education service, and all our frontline services.